Hi guys, this is Jessie Holton, your Stamping Up Demonstrator for Australia, jessieholton.com. I'm in the middle of doing one of my blog posts and I thought that I would share some quick tips and tricks with you in relation to scheduling your posts and also the permalinks. So I use Blogger, which is a free service, and um, I purchased my domain name through Gmail. Uh, but if you don't do that, um, then you will have your, your address of your blog will be say jessieholton.blogspot.com.au uh, and instead by doing it through Gmail and linking it to my blogger, I've got jessieholton.com. So uh, I do actually my old uh, name, which is, it was a bit of a mouthful and that's why I changed it, was mollypossumcreations.blogspot.com.au and uh, that old name uh, for my first year or so of blog posts, that is actually still linked. So if someone types that into um, their search engine, then they'll still come through to my blog up. So if you're looking at changing, uh, you can have the old name and the new name both linked. So I just wanted to give you guys some tips on scheduling. So uh, once you've got your blog post ready to go, and I'm halfway through doing mine here, I just thought I'd do this quick video while I thought of it. And uh, so you go over to schedule, and you can select the date and time that you want to schedule it. So at the moment it is lunchtime on Saturday, and I'm scheduling this post to publish at 8 a.m. on Monday morning. And this is where you get your permalink information from. So if you are entering a blog challenge or a blog hop, then this is the permalink. This is the uh, link that they want you to give them. So any time that you change your title of your blog post or the date of your blog post, the permalink will change. So you can see here that it's got March 2019 and it's also got Butterfly Gala January Class Highland and that comes from here Butterfly Gala January Class Highland and that's as much as it could fit in the in the permalink there so if I was to change this name let's go let's change it to part one and you will see down here my permalink will update. So now it says Butterfly Gala January Class Part 1. So you can see that if you were to get the permalink and add that to a blog hop or a blog challenge and then you went and changed either the name, the blog title or the, or the date that it would change your permalink. So uh, you do need to be really careful that you've got the date and the title set and saved and then uh, do your permalink, especially if you're scheduling for a different month, a month ahead, then you definitely need to hit that save button so that this updates before you copy and paste that permalink into a blog hop or blog challenge. So that was basically all that I wanted to uh, share with you guys today. and. If you have any questions or if there's anything that you would like me to give you some training on, please let me know. Uh, I'd hopefully like to do a little mini series of some trainings, uh, of just sharing some of the information that I know and helping my fellow demonstrators and um, my team members, of course. <laughs> all right, well, I hope that you all have a lovely day. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, you can email me jessie at jessieholton.com. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.